Would you believe that the average person spends around two and a half wow. hours on social media daily? And if you've been feeling overwhelmed with your use of social media, a detox may be what you need. Yeah, joining us now with some tips for slowly phasing out social media is Taryn Chappelle from Chappelle Communications Group. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you so much for having me. I love your tips because they're very pragmatic and very yes. doable. It's, it's a slow slope down the, the hill, right? Absolutely. The goal of it is to reach a balance. And so you don't want to go cold turkeys because we, we just don't operate like that as human beings. And so you slowly want to like kind of steer, steer away from your phone and get more plugged into people, into experiences versus documenting it. Yes. yes. And I think that's really what the problem is, is because I know some people who always have their phone in their hand. And it's like, oh, wait, wait, let me grab this. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, mm -hmm. like, or they're looking at this and, and I'm thinking, oh, they're doing something really important. And then you peek over their shoulder they're looking at their social media feed. Right. They're on Instagram, they're yeah. on Tinder, doing yeah. whatever. Yeah, I and, know. And I don't know if you guys have that experience when you think something's buzzing yes. in your in yes. your pocket mm -hmm. and, it, and nothing's buzzing. You're right. like expecting a notification. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's right. sad. So that's... what's the first step you take when you're trying to back off of it a little bit? Absolutely. So a lot of times, the first thing we wake up, and I'm guilty of it as well, we look at our phone. Mm -hmm. We go on social media. And so, and we set an alarm. So I would say, let's cycle in a new device for your alarm. Like, let's cycle in Alexa, because the whole point of it is to slowly get you away from your device mm -hmm. so that you can be more focused on your day. And so that's it. And social media, sometimes it's not the most, you know, uplifting place necessarily. No, I know. And so you right? don't want to begin your day off a little bit with that. So I would say, initially, let's look for other apps that you can rely on to, to get you through your day. To start your day. Yeah. I like Absolutely. the other tip where you said, ask people to text you instead of sending messages yes. to you through social media. That's a great one. Definitely. It's because you want to get outside of that social media environment. So if someone messages you, one, it's a, it's a lot more personal, and I feel like we can have more, like, more conversations, plus like, I don't want Big Brother Facebook watching my messages. You know, True. they archive everything. Right. And so, you know, some messages just should stay between friends. And so, and also, and that leads me to my next point. If you decompress with a friend and you guys are messaging with each other, it holds the other, you guys can hold each other accountable for a decompress from the social media. Yeah, it's a replacing the, the social media with an actual human being. Now, Absolutely. what do you do if you are someone who relies on your phone, especially for work? I mean, how do you get away from it when you need it so much for, say, something like work? It's, well, I'm in social media, so it's really difficult. Yeah. So I try to achieve a balance. So a lot of times, um, iPhones and Androids will have built-in kind of apps that you can track your progress. And so I make it a rule not to look at social media or my phone, period. I sunset all of my, I sunset all of my social media, I would say about an hour before I, follow, before I go to bed. Oh, and good. in the morning, I make it a rule not to go on my phone unless it's absolutely for work. And so I would say like, it's again, it's about balance and having, there's a time and place for everything. And when you're out with your friends and we all have that one friend, you're, you guys having dinner and they're just like, are you, uh, hello, I'm, 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 uh, hey, yeah. I'm here. <laughs> and so like, you don't, you don't want to be that friend. And so like, f be more plugged into people and actually enjoy the experience. And so what I try to do when I'm out and about, um, I mean, I always take the most photos because I just really want to like have a conversation with my friend and you're so busy like shooting up on Instagram stories, you're missing like this, all life. these views in, yeah. in life. <laughs> wherever you're at. I, I, why is it that social media is so addictive? Ooh. That is a really, it's because you get dopamine effects from it. So when you post something and you get a bunch of likes from it or you get a bunch of comments, it, it means acceptance. It means that people are paying attention to me. It means you, it's kind of a false sense of being heard. Yeah. And so when you have that effect, you are, you're, it's kind of a, a vicious circle. You're always looking for that. And so when you post something and you don't get as many likes and you don't get as many um, comments on it, you, you feel bad and you sometimes think there's something the matter with me. Mm, right. But, and that's why you're seeing an Instagram, it's kind of people are moving away, which I appreciate, um, more of curated content, even brands and it being more authentic. And so it has been this um, kind of, I would say, trend on Instagram of people not showing their perfect life, of people showing like when they're up late, five o'clock in the morning and can't sleep, um, and it not being so pretty. And so Again, just getting just getting away from that type of thinking, because you know we're all guilty of it. I'm guilty of it as well. Yeah. And so just being aware of it and putting into practices of how to kind of avoid it. I know you mentioned setting the app so you could do it later in the day and before you put it down. Is there a time of day when it makes more sense to do your social media and then uh, makes more sense to avoid it? I would say, so personally for me, I have issues sleeping. Okay. Mm -hmm. And so I try to sunset, like I try to like turn the TV off. I try to like turn my phone off. And 
I would say like an hour before a bedtime and then right in the morning, go through a different morning routine, maybe exercise. Like Replace that, it. Exactly, yeah. that can reach, uh, and replacing basically your phone or social media with things that are equally as, that releases those endorphins that we all want and that mm -hmm. we're all sometimes chasing for. Yeah. yeah. What, what, what would we feel, real quickly, we're out of time, what would you feel once you do a real social media detox? How will you expect to feel? You won't care anymore. <laughs> like you, it's like, I don't care what people have to say about, about my post. You will no. really enjoy the people around you. And I've done it, and I, I try to make it a rule of like separating, okay, this is work, and this is like personal. So you won't care so much about what people think or people's comments, and you won't be, and it won't breed this kind of sense of competition yeah. um, and a lot, that a lot of us kind of fall prey to. I love that. Terrence, yeah, thank you so much. So you much good information there. Yeah.